What's going on, boys? My name is Sid, and yes, today, yes, yesterday, we got the return of two cars. One of those two cars was this thing. Well, I, not at what I've done to it, at least. <laughs> well, yes, that does add to this car because this is the only hypercar to have a damage model. So I've been driving around in circles, banging this car on the goddamn railing over and over again. And I've, 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 well, I've done this to it. Yes, the other car we re got returned yesterday, which, well, for me, it's tomorrow, I guess, was the KS Mask Leader, which, if you didn't know, was actually, technically, not a car that we got in the same update as all these cars that are returning. Because the KS Mask Leader was actually a car in the Hunt update. It does have an exclusive livery too, a pretty cool looking one. It's got that, yeah, that little design. That looks absolutely sick if you just change the color. Like, it's, oh god, it's such a nice car to just change. Oh, it looks so cool. Let me change the vanities, let me change the vanities. But yeah, obviously this thing is returned in the crew too. Along with its counterpart, the, uh, the Chiron interception unit. But yeah, this was the tier 50, uh, 49 of the second episode. Uh, not the first, which means that the M8 interception unit... That's, I guess, we're going to get that next episode. If, and I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense, right? I can't imagine they'd, for some reason, give us something else. Right. Uh, oh, God, that gray looks really nice. But any car, like this car, is a car that, for some reason, looks good in, like, every different color. I don't know what it is about it. This car just looks so nice in any color. Like, unironically, any, any color. Oh, the row. Oh, that's gorgeous. Jesus Christ. Oh, here's a tip, by the way. If you didn't know, when you're on customization, you can go to the very end. And I guess you can either go to the very end or cycle back, right? But that lets you change the color of, I don't know where I'll be able to see it, the roll cage in the car. Not a lot of people realize that. You can actually change the roll cage color of all demo derby cars as well as all cars that are Demo Derby style, like the one in street, like this thing, etc. Right? You can do that with all Demo Derby cars. And you can see, you can do that with this thing. There's your Sid Watch tip of the day. Oh my god, the orange too? Why does this thing look so good? It's a really good looking car. This was, of course, the first car actually commissioned by the crew too. So the crew paid a guy and were like, hey fella, make us a car. And guess what he did? The, the guy went and made a car, and he made this thing, which looks very, very cool. And it was the first uh, creator's car of the crew, too. I also showed how it looks a lot like the Batman, the Batmobile. And, oh, actually, let's check the liveries on this thing. It's genuinely, like, a really good-looking car. Like, God, I love this thing. Oh, yeah, it's got some really sick liveries. This one looks sick with the black on, because, obviously cyberpunk car which is essentially what this thing is yeah the cyberpunk style back before people realized cyberpunk was gonna release bad there's this one which looks ah oh, I, I remember i had this one on before also a very cool looking livery down let's go with this uh let's go with the yellow tires i guess okay i don't know what i've done to it i think the car looks bad now actually uh let me go back to the let me go back to the lined tires. Let me go, let me go back to the two lined tires. Those look nice. Uh, if I could bloody find them, I guess. There we go. What what other car? Oh, 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 yeah. Okay, these tires work with this one. Can we not change those rims? Oh, that sucks. Those rims being glossy is really annoying. God, it makes me want to put arrows over it. Those glossy rims are f frustrating. This thing does look nice with arrows on. Just, you know, they'd have to be arrows that actually make sense to have on is the issue there but there's no good arrow rim so we're not gonna go with any we'll go with yellow smoke i mean i guess a yellow nitride i just go i don't want to go with just a stock one i guess we'll go with one of these one i know these ones look very yellow or maybe they don't i think i remember them looking very not yet yeah, whatever the other one is blue i guess and i don't know we'll go with a we'll go with a more simple nitro we'll just go with that uh yellow underglow would look very nice an underglow that I didn't have for a very long time. That looks very nice. And actually, let's go here and let's make the roll cage yellow. That looks disgusting. Why does that look so bad? Can I, can I, I don't, I don't know. Why, why, why does that look so bad? Why? It shouldn't look that bad. Ah, good enough. There you go. Now the roll cage is yellow. So 
On that note, let's take, let's put some parts on this thing and then let's take it into a race. Oh, wait, it's an exclusive. I mean, I guess it was an exclusive car, so it's already got parts on it. So now let's just take it into a race. Two races, in fact. Here we go. We're in Bronx, a very good all round race. I guess we could, okay, let's behave. Now the thing with this car is be very, very careful using this car in collision PVP. I thought, now, perhaps it was foolish of me. I thought, hey, maybe they'll be able to damage the car, but nothing serious will happen. I was very wrong. I have been, oh my god, what the, what the, uh, uh, excuse me? I have been absolutely clobbered up the rear end in collision PvP and had no tires left, all the doors off, it's struggling. I mean, just don't use this thing, or at least be bloody careful if you do. Oh my god, and I'm losing too, this is terrible. I mean, from the back, it does, it's very, oh my, oh Jesus Christ. I mean, the back of this car is essentially just the Batmobile. The Batmobile looks a very much like the back of this car. Tell you what, I've had the Lego Batmobile for a while now, right? I swear to you, someone who is better at designing Legos than I am could turn this into a KS Mask Leader. And I would absolutely love it if they did. Like, look at that. That's like, that's like, that's asking to become the KS Mask Leader. Someone 100% could convert this into a KS Mask Leader. It's even got the nitro color, right? But no one really cares enough about the Crew 2 to do that. But it would be cool if they did. Me do it? I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to- I haven't designed Lego since I was, like, very young. I'd have to, like, and we're talking just sat there all day playing with Legos. Oh my god, chat. Getting deja vu to my goddamn past. Coming home from school to just sit there and play with Legos for hours and then go downstairs and eat and then play with Legos for hours. And then it was like, go to school next day and then come back and play with Legos for hours. Ugh, take me back, chat. Life was simpler. <laughs> oh my god, we've crashed and we've done damage. Okay, we're actually losing again. This is a, a terrible advertisement for this car, considering I'm, I'm now losing for the second time. Corvette Interception Unit next week? Yes, actually, I think. Right? Yeah, yeah, we get the Corvette next week, right? We also get the M8 um, Summit Edition, as well as, um, well, my birthday's in that week, but who care, right? But uh, yeah, the M8 uh, Summit Edition and the Corvette is next week, because it's like the 28th, and today is the 22nd. The day I'm filming this is definitely the 22nd. And not the 20th before the car even comes out because I already had it. There we go. We've come near the last bit of the race. So let's go into another one. Here we go. We're in the bloody Hollywood race. And oh, joining the race has fixed my car, to be fair. Right before I went into the race, I did still have the damage on it. But now that we're in the race, the car's not bloody damaged anymore. Okay, so that's how that works. Okay, turn. Oh, no, that was, that was some pretty good handling. I'm not going to lie to you. This thing's not on any leaderboards. It's not the best for anything. It's not amazing in anything. But clearly, it's not a terrible handling car. I mean, the designs, the liveries on it are really good. This was during the chase. A talented livery creator still cared about the game back then, I guess, right? So we actually got some really good liveries for it, which is cool. Okay. There we go. We've survived that one. God, it's raining. That, that was it. Started just pouring it down. When did this happen? What is this? The UK? You can almost see the uh, the roll cage underneath. You can't. I mean, you can't really. It's there somewhere though. Oh yeah. Oh <laughs> well, there it is. <laughs> so I mean, the roll cage customization does technically count as interior customization. So therefore, you can kind of customize this thing. And. Okay, I don't recommend wall riding in it, clearly. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, that's gone terrible. Oh, the wheel's sticking out and everything. What is this, an F1 car? Here we go. Let's attempt another wall ride, I guess. Okay. Oh, there we go. We made it. And all it cost was our car being absolutely mangled on the front. Oh, what has happened to it? Oh, it looks disgusting. Oh, no. <laughs> is this a demo derby car and hypercar? Yup, that's this car's stick. It's a car with a damage model in the hypercar spec. 
which is pretty cool, all things considered. Again, if you get hit by someone else, entire parts can come flying off too. There we go. Thank you for watching. Thank you to popular members and a special thank to famous members. I'll see you boys in the next one. God, this thing looks cool with the smoke and everything.